Bortles got an open Greenwich grabbing it out of the air. Big first down for Jacksonville. And, and that's one of those times, Kirk, because he looked like he wanted to keep the ball out of his hands quick, quickly. He held on to it, and Greenwich came open on the backside. You see him going through the progression, right? Going to drop back. He's going to look, actually, to his right first, and now he's working across what you used to call spacing, Coach. Mm -hmm. Nobody open. Gets all the way to his fourth receiver on the backside with a nice touch throw up over the top. Just when we say, when he has too much time. <laughs> look, at, look at that. He connects with the former practice squatter. First and ten. Orders thrown again over the middle. His first down pickup right there to DJ Chark. And these these drops are run against man, sit down against zone. That was a three deep zone, and these are easy completions. Now you you can you can hit hands easy on these underneath the coverage. It's great for getting the confidence up of the quarterback, but also keeping the chain moving in the red zone on a, a crucial. Possession here. It's a two score game. Philadelphia scored at the end of the half after the turn, before the half at the before the halftime of the turnover. Scored here to begin the second half. Here's a give to Yelton. And it looks like he picked up the first down here. You can hear the audio there. Blake Bortles went kill, kill, kill. He had four wide receivers off to the left, and that kill means they call two plays in the huddle. They've got one play called. They're going to go up and run. If he sees a particular look, it's a kill, kill, kill. They changed to play number two, and obviously it was a little run inside. And it is a first down on a gain of four. And they don't want to settle for a field goal on this drive. they got to get a touchdown here. They want too many field goals already. Carlos Hyde is back in the game. It's just going to call the timeout. Just when they were in rhythm, moving, and matriculating. Timeout necessary. <laughs> Weekdays on NFL Network. Check out what critics have called the best morning show on sports television. Kay Adams, Nate Burleson, Peter Schrager, Kyle Brandt for Good Morning Football. Weekdays at 7 a.m. Eastern only on NFL Network. We're celebrating our 15th anniversary on this week from today NFL Network turns 15. This is a good way to do it. I right? Know. Yeah, first for all those people all said, to be in the booth. You'd never call a game in the first 15 years of NFL <laughs> Network. Guess what? We got it in under the gun by a week. So <laughs> here we are. Blake Bortles out of that timeout. So they come up with steps up in the pocket. Throws the end zone. Oh, had Greenwich open, but Little too high for the six foot five tight end. And you're gonna see him. He does a nice job of working over the top of these linebackers, but one of the toughest throws for a quarterback is to get it up and down. He's got to get it up over the linebackers and drop it in before the back of the end zone. Just a little too much mustard on that one. And that's why they're 29th in the red zone in the NFL right now, because you can't he can't get the ball up and down. Second and 10 from 16. 14. Bortles stepping up, now rolling up to his right. And flips it out to Moncrief for a modest gain on second down. He's up third in about six, seven. We talk about decision making, when to stay in the pocket, who to throw it to, and also when to leave the pocket, Kurt. And that time he went out the front door and he made a good play. Not a lot of yards. That was a smart thing to do. But as you said, Michael, so vital right here. Both of these teams struggling to get the ball in the end zone. You can't continue to settle for field goals. Porter's barking out the play. Play clock winding down to five. Third and seven from the 11. Porter's pump faking. End zone wide open. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook. On top of it, Steve, you asked Bortles who his go-to guy was on third down. And he said D.D. Westbrook without hesitating. And here he goes. He's got the ball. Both feet seem to be down. That's a touchdown. Right? And watch what he does here. Just a little double move. I love this call. 
know that it's a blitz here down in the red zone. He's going to jump the first thing he sees. Malcolm Jenkins jumps it, and that time it was a nice throw up and, and over. over. Right. Right. And as soon as you say he doesn't do it well, he shows you he does it well. And Steve, what does the chart say? As we like to ask you, now let's go for it too. That's what they're doing here. It's confirmed, and Bortles and the offense still out there. It's a 17-12 contest right now. That was huge. 11-yard score. Can they put the two points on top? Bortles to Westbrook, and that one is broken up. Broken up by Rasul Douglas. So the Jazz.